What's up guys? Welcome back. I'm Lorena from Green Healthy Cooking and today we're making overnight oats. The easiest, quickest and best breakfast on earth. No, I'm not exaggerating. Now, I love making just the base recipe, which is three quarter cups of rolled oats. You're gonna want to make sure it's old fashioned rolled oats, not quick oats, not super thick, not none of that. Just old fashioned rolled oats. They will hold their shape. They will degrade overnight in the fridge and they're just the best oats. So add about three quarter cup of oats into a container that fits them and then fill up with any kind of milk that you like. You can even use water if you don't have any other milk because the oats will like release all their starch and it will become oat milk, so to speak. But I prefer to use another milk. You can use cow's milk or coconut milk or almond milk or whatever milk you like. My favorite is a coconut milk because it's nice and creamy. To keep the calories down, I use a light canned coconut milk, watered it down a little bit. So I add that to the oats until they're completely covered in milk. Like there is no exact measurement. It will always depend on your container, but you wanna make sure that all your oats are submerged in the liquid. So once you did that, you can give it a quick stir or you can put on a lid and shake it and you can put it in the fridge for at least six hours. I do overnight or even several nights. This will last as long as your milk lasts. So you have to remember when you opened your milk, most cartons say that they're fine for five to seven days once you open them. So you have to remember when you opened your milk carton or can or anything so you know how long it will last in the fridge. But generally speaking, four days for any kind of milk should be perfectly fine. So the next morning or the day after or after or after, it's time to just take it out of the fridge and then we're going to sweeten it. You can sweeten it before, but I like sweetening it the morning that I'm going to eat it because then I can decide what kind of sweetener I want for that day and what I feel like having that day. Best sweeteners are maple syrup or honey or coconut sugar, but basically you can add anything you want, stevia or maybe xylitol or anything you like, but you can even completely leave out the sweetener. And you give it a good stir. Look at the consistency of these overnight oats made with the coconut milk. It's so creamy and so, so, so delicious. And now comes the fun part. Here are an array of different fruits and nuts and seeds and chocolate chips and you can even use nut butters or the possibilities are endless, endless. And here I'm going to show you nine different combinations that we love in our family, but the sky is the limit. Topping idea number one, pear, almond and pomegranate. Topping idea number two, apple, pecan, and cinnamon. Topping idea number three, banana, peanut, and chocolate. But as I said, the sky is the limit. Mix and match anything you like. I love making just the base recipe. So in the morning, everybody can choose whatever they want. I always have nuts and seeds and nut butters in the fridge. Apples are usually always available. You can even grate a carrot and maybe put in some raisins and make it like a carrot cake kind of overnight oats breakfast. 
Oh, there's so many different options. I hope you give these overnight oats a try. If you do, please don't forget to snap a picture and show me. I always love to see your creations. And if you've enjoyed this breakfast recipe, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy this one.